Hi everyone, Angelica Turner here. Today I have a quick tutorial with a couple of tags featuring florals and paper from the garden party collection. And uh, we're going to just make uh, some flowers using the basic techniques. Um, so as you can see here, I have a couple of tags. I actually did these tags over at the Great Yosemite Stampscape and I did them as uh, quick little make and takes. And uh, so I am using the garden party paper. I cut all my tags from that. And I am also using, uh, for the tag itself, I use the 2055 tab four with tags from Esther's collection, Planner Essentials. Uh, the florals are 2096 Wildflower One. So I am using actually this one in uh, these two sizes right here some of your smaller sizes and then of course some of the leaves in it uh, i'm also going to be using the thank you and the hello from the 2122 layer greetings one from my new evening rose collection and uh, i'm also using the cs330 flower centers uh, these are so fun to work with and it they add so much detail to your florals so these are the sets that i'm going to be using um so here i already have all my pieces cut and some of them i already have them inked i cut everything out of pattern paper for you so everything here's our tags and uh, some of the tags were i was i cut them off the cover which also has a print uh, the sign on the back for the cover so i wanted to cover that up so i'm going to be uh glue them them to gluing them together um i have all my florals here uh, all of these ones have been already inked i inked the edges and also as well as stamping the center with the pumice stone uh, distress ink and I also ink the edges of my tags. Um, for the sentiment, I die cut it out of vellum for the for the shadow piece, uh, and then gold uh, cardstock for the sentiment itself. And then this is the little reinforcer for the tag. So this tag right here, I haven't done all the whole process on it. So we're going to start by. Um, inking the edges of my paper, getting rid of that white core. It always, uh, for me, it's always a thing of seeing the white core and I like to give the uh, project a nicer, more finished look. So I'm going to, um, again, use my uh, Distress Ink. And usually one of the things I always do before I start, uh, take the endeavor to the paper is I always grab my ink and I test it a little bit on a piece of um, scrap uh, paper just to make sure that I didn't grab too much ink, uh, especially if your ink is a bit, um, it's brand new or it has been freshly re-inked, your ink dabber is going to pick up a little bit too much ink and it's going to leave a big blob of ink on your cardstock instead of a nice, uh blended uh, distress edge so i think that's good on that and i'm going to also add that same inking to the tips of my petals and as you can see my uh, pad my ink pad is not freshly inked so um it's not giving me uh a lot of um, excess ink on my ink dabber so which is which is a good thing but for most of the time i always kind of have a tendency of just kind of testing it making sure that i don't end up with again those blobs of ink on uh, on my uh, cardstock because then it's really hard to kind of blend that out and it kind of ruins my 
uh, piece or by project and I have to kind of uh, go back to it and uh, cut it up, cut another one or, you know, chuck it up to the recycling and start again. So I'm just going to finish inking all of this. Just give it a nice kind of a distressed shading to all the pieces, to all the die cut pieces. Ink. These are all have been inked already. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two smallest uh, stamps from the flower center stamp and I'm going to stamp the centers of my flowers. Now I'm going to do it on a stamping mat so I can get a better, uh, more crisp image. So I'm using the larger one here on the larger flowers and the smaller one are my two smaller flowers. And I did this process through to all my florals in this project. Okay. So here's our, all our flowers stamped. Now what we're going to do is, I haven't decided how many flowers I want to put on each tag. So we're just going to separate all of them here or put them all together so we can start shaping them. Oh, there's another one it was hiding from me and these ones. Okay, so for your shaping, we want to have a some kind of thick mat or shaping mat that has some gift to it. Um, Whatever is handy, if you have one of the special shaping, flower shaping mats, those are perfect because they're just the right thickness with, uh, for your, for, for your flower shaping. So we're going to start with our leaves. Um, you also need uh, some styluses. As you can see here, I have several different sizes, depending what size of the flower you're shaping, it's the stylus uh, tip that you wanna use. In this case, they're all pretty, uh, they're medium sized and uh, we're not going to do a lot of detail shaping because we're just doing the basic shaping on these. So I'm going to use this one. For our leaves, uh, for these ones, I'm going to start from the tip of the leaf and I'm going to pull it in towards the base. It gives it a nice basic shape. See how fast it curls? So I'm going to do a set of leaves in this way. Pull it from the tip to the base. And then when you turn it over, you're just going to press it a little bit at the base because that's where we're going to be putting all our adhesive when we glue that down to our project. So I always kind of do that. And then of course this one has the branch, so that's, that'll be glued from that piece. Like I said, everything was cut out of pattern paper. So you have a design on the leaf. As you can see, you have some color on it already and some of the pattern from the uh, from the paper. So you don't have to do a lot of coloring. Okay, so for this particular one, we'll do that thank you card tag here. Uh, we are going to do our flowers all shaped on the front of the flower. So we want to start from the tip of your petal right here and then pull it in to the center like this. It's an easy way. So you always want to move in one direction because that'll be the quickest way for you to shape your flower. If you pull it in from the tip to the center and see how fast that shape. One thing I do always do with my flowers is I always overshape them. Um, as you assemble your project, your flower is going to 
lose some of that dimension as you glue and put it together so i don't want my flower to end up completely flat by the time i finished so i always end up um, giving them more dimension than i need because i know it they're going to lose some of that dimension when i put them on my project so as you can see they're very <laughs> they're uh, shaped uh, pretty good again i switch here my tip to the smaller one on this stylus so because these flowers are a little bit smaller and it works better on this petal again just from the tip to the center in one direction okay so that's the set of flowers for one tag now for the next set we're going to do the leaves on the front of the leaf again we're going to start from the tip to the base but we're going to do all the shaping on the front so it's going to curl upwards instead of downwards like the previous ones so all from the tip to the base of the leaf again i always kind of try to keep my strokes in one direction um if you for example start from one and then you start see how it starts to curl and then you go that backwards it just kind of flattens that curve that you already gave it so it's a lot faster and easier if you always move your stylus in that one direction towards uh the way towards the direction you want to shape it uh, here we go almost done with this okay last little leaf okay so for our flowers on this one we're going to do them a little bit different so on this one we are going to start on the back of the flower we're going to take our stylus and shape from the tip of the flower of the petal and as you can see i'm not moving all the way into the center or the base of the petal i'm just moving um, about halfway or three quarters of the petal again i'm always from the set edge of the petal into the in, halfway in and that's about in one direction once you do all your petals you're going to turn them over and you're going to do the center for this one i'm going to switch over to the smaller tip and see how fast and easy that shape is so this is your second shaping and this is your first one two base very basic really fast to do and it gives your flower a complete uh, a different look like I said, this is just your basic technique of flower shaping. If you're just starting, this is, and you can, you know, different colors, different layering, uh, it will make your flowers look different. Okay, almost done here. Now, because it's very basic on the shaping, I, I know depending on how thick your cardstock is and how much um, shaping you need to do to it, uh, a lot of times if you're working on thicker cardstock and you need to do a lot of shaping, like if you were making roses or flowers with a lot of dimension, uh, it makes it a lot easier when you spritz your cardstock with a little bit of water. In this case, I'm not doing that because there's not uh these flowers don't require a lot of shaping and the pattern paper is not thick or su uh, not uh, super thick like a, a basil cardstock or something like that okay so now we got all our pieces um shaped so let's go ahead and start assembling our little tags we're going to go ahead and start here with our thank you tag 
and I'm just going to go ahead and grab my glue put a little bit of glue on the back like I said I'm going to glue back to back because I want uh, the pretty design on both sides on the front and the in the back um, it's if you have uh, double-sided paper that's you know you already have but because in in this case I ended up with one of the tags with the uh, with the pattern or the print from the cover um, I wanted to cover that up so we have one side and then we have another side uh, let's go ahead and glue our reinforcer now for this one I used this particular reinforcer but the that I said, which is really, I mean, it's probably one of my favorite tag die sets. Uh, let me bring it back. Here's okay. So this one, uh, it has all the your different uh, tag sizes, and then it has different reinforcers. So as you can see, you can use all of these. It has this cute little like a bread um, tag. Um, and then all your sizes as well as the uh, page for your planner so but uh, so here's my tag now uh, let's put together our sentiment again I glued I'm gluing this to my shadow die cut which I did out of bellum It's kind of lost in my table. Here we go. Now I can see where exactly is layering. So I like the idea of having a soft shadow or a soft base for my sentiment instead of a solid um, cardstock. Okay. Uh, see how we're going to layer these ones okay I want my large flower to be layered with two layers and then I'm going just a little bit of glue in the center and I'm going to offset my petals so you get a fuller flower mm, same thing with one of these I'm going to do uh, two of them layered together again offsetting my petals like that okay now let's see where we're going to arrange them or how we want this arrangement so I want to see those flowers I'm going to put them up at the top corner so I want to see the okay so I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this down because it has the little branch so I need it to to be underneath my flower now because I have two different size flowers I always start with my largest flower in my arrangement it makes it so much easier for me to kind of put that down and then build everything else around it especially little leaves smaller flowers so here is that I'm going to put another little leaf on this side like that and then this little flower will probably go here with a couple of smaller leaves like 
like that and then let's stuck in the little leaves underneath it before it dries there we go and then one more on this side I think that looks good now for our other flower over here I think I'm gonna put it lower and I'm going to put another leaf on that going up like that and then our flower right here again you know they're flowers you can put them either way color them shape them that's what makes it fun okay then our sentiment is going to sit right here i think A little bit of blue here we go and place it down and I want it to hang over the edge a little bit so here's one of our flowers and you as you can see it they already flatten a little bit but they still have a good amount of dimension on them okay let's go ahead and build our second bag again as you can see i have one with a print from the uh, cover and i have this one that is double-sided paper so uh, because I wanted, I wanted to use the one with a little yellow flowers. Uh, I just figured cover it with another one of my die cuts or my tags with a pretty pattern. And that way you have a nice finished product. Okay. Here's that. Where's our little and that little reinforcer? It has a uh, score line, score line in the center, so you can go ahead and score it right down the center, and then glue it and wrap it around the top of your tag like this, and it gives it such a nice finishing touch. Okay, so now let's see our flowers on this one. Um, I'm going to also do them layer so we have a fuller flower. Again, I'm just placing a little bit of glue in the center and offsetting my petals. And I think I'm going to do this one down here at the bottom with all the other flowers see how that looks another one here i think i want this one with two layers as well there we go Okay, and then we have, I think I'm going to put one over here and then another one over here. Okay, so let's glue everything down. And I'm placing them, keeping in mind my flowers and my background. I want to be able to see those little yellow flowers on the pattern paper. So I am gluing them kind of around that design. Let's see, there's some in there. 
leaves over here. Okay, there we go. Press it down. Uh, this one will go right here. I'm going to place one of the smaller leaves on this side. Okay, there we go. Maybe one more. So it looks. Oh, this one is not inked. Let me grab another one here. Okay, yeah, this one is inked. This one over here. Just going to put the glue on that leave itself and place it right there. So it makes a pretty little arrangement around the florals on the paper. And then ours up here. Let's go ahead and do that one. And one of these. Okay. And one more. Here we go. I usually try to hold them down in the center so they glue down good with uh, something with a smaller tip so I don't uh, take out the uh, the the, the uh, shape with my fingertip or flatten them. So I usually use like a pair of tweezers or even the stylus. It's easy to just kind of press down in the center so they glue to your project. Okay, I think maybe one more leaf right here. Yep, one more leaf over here on this side. Like that. Okay. And then we got some extra leaves right there. Let's glue our sentiment to our vellum. Takes a little bit of time always to apply glue to something with all that detail. Okay, here we go, and we'll put the hello right here. I'm just putting the glue on the back of the uh, gold cutout. Um, the glue dries completely clear, but I always just play, play it play it on the safe side so I don't see on any of the adhesive behind the vellum. Let's see how does that look straight? I think so. So here's our second tag and as you can see flowers still have a lot of dimension, the little leaves, but look at the the difference. Two basic shaping techniques and they make your florals. It looks like this one is coming up. Let's put it, add a little bit more glue there. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I have some. Oh, yeah. 
So I got some pearls for our flower centers. Just to make it, give it a little bit of a finishing touch. So I got the large pearls. And then let's do the medium ones for the smaller flowers. Okay, and I also have some pretty lace and twine I wanted to use to put as a little holder or hanger or extra decor on our decoration on our tag. This one right here. Like that. And I wanted to use this gold and gold twine to pull the gold from the from the die cut. I'm just going to wrap, make a bow. Or tie it around the lace and make a little bow on that. I think that adds a cute little elegant finishing touch to our tag. Let's get the other one. There, I'm a little stuck. Okay, that's our lace right there. And then let's do the bow. Here we go. So I think, I think these turned out pretty cute. Little bit, little bit of elegant touch there with the lace, the gold, the pearls. Very simple flower shaping techniques that you can use on your cards, tags, even your planners. These don't add, I mean, you can add a little bit of shaping and then put that on your planners. That will be fun. And then you can see all the uh, detail there of the dimension from the shaping. And that didn't take a lot of time. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, until next time. Bye.